morning. It is Monday morning and we're going back to Billy Mac's house. Uh, it's just me today, solo mission. Um, we're just gonna go see how much we can get done. And uh, yeah, Ethan will be back tomorrow. So I'll have another helping hand, but I'm sure we can get some stuff done just solo today. So we'll see. I will see you guys at the job site. Ice and shrimp. It's not much of a steakhouse there. It's more so just seafood. And... But, uh, but the girl, the girl was happy. Yep. Yeah, she's happy. It's nice to have a real woman around. Okay. It is. As long as she understands you're in business. Exactly. That's the biggest thing. But she's been good at that. Time lapse. This material is far from easy to screech when it's been wetted down. It rained on this four or five times since I've been gone. And uh, this stuff has a lot of concrete dust in it, some recycled concrete in it. So when it wets up, it's just hard as a rock. Like I'm having some struggle trying to screech this out and even trying to rake it to get it lower it is pretty brutal this just looks like a concrete slab right now all the stuff that's been screeded so slow going process here but we're getting there we got one more screed rail to put down and then I'll be to the end and then uh, I can start laying pavers off of this wall I started over there because we could only lay one screech section at a time because it was raining that day but in reality that's not a good place to start i want to get square off of this wall and then carry my border all the way down there and then lay out that way so eventually when i get to there i'll pick all those up and then relay them so that's my plan because i needed to get the height off of that concrete pad so if i started over here it would have been harder for me to get that height when it was raining, trying to screech one area, lay it, one area, lay it. So I started over there, but that wasn't a good idea. forecast today there's not much rain chances but I do see a bunch of rain clouds in the distance oh they're kind of breaking up there's one right there but that ain't gonna hit us
But it is 96 degrees today. It's a hot tamale. Humid, really. At least the sun's covered. Should be covered for most of the day until about one o'clock and then it says it'll be sunny. So we're getting a little bit of luck with that. I can deal with 96 degrees if the sun's not out. It's when that sun's out, you start feeling like you're baking. That's not fun. Hey yeah. Does that still have uh, cement in it? Would you say if I compacted that, that'd be good for what I'm working on? What? The little bit of sand out there? Yeah. Yeah. It just dumped off? Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Can you use it? You yeah. What are you going to use it for exactly? Right where I'm working at, a little strip of uh, pavers. You know, uh, the cement things that I'm putting in for the Yeah. No good? No, but like, what are you gonna put the sand under it and put it on top, or you're gonna try to use the sand to hold it in place? Like, I don't know. Are you talking about putting that sand around the outside of it? No. Okay. Then yeah, you're good if you use it for base. I'm just using it for base to tap it in. And yeah. Keep it level. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's perfect for that. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a yep. Oh, righty. Time to fill in all these screep rail holes. And then I can start putting some pavers down. So I just started using screed rails in the past year and I gotta say it makes life a lot easier. The way I was taught was just to level everything with the level and while you're screeding you screed with the level and you just continue to check the level and I've done that for six years now and ever since doing and I mean that's kind of the way a lot of guys down south here do it. Um, it's the guy who taught me everything I know that's how he does it. I know a lot of guys up north like to use the screed rails, um, and ever since I started mate, using the screed rails, it's just been perfection every time. You know, with the level, you can get it great, but you're always kind of unsure because you can't check every square inch with the level. You know what I mean? That would just take forever. The screed rails might take a little bit of time to set it up, but they're just so worth it in the end. Um, it's really just an ease of mind. If you can get your screed rails at the right height and at the slope you want it, you can't go wrong. So, I really enjoy using the screed rails now. If you ever get slow again, we'll be doing a fire pit in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we're gonna have extra bricks. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't want to use those bricks for a fire pit. You could do it for the around the fire pit That's for the seating. Right. Yeah. You want big blocks for the fire pit. Which fire pit kit's like 400 bucks, brand new. Brand new favors. It's not bad. No, I got the whole solo thing. Oh, you oh, you already got it. Then you yeah. you're good. Then I'll just build you a circle pad and then we could cut it out and set it in the middle. I got my things all set up. All right. Come on, you think Okay. You know, I said $400 and you gave me that look like Like, whoa, boy. Oh, Slow down, boy. Hold on, boy. $400. <laughs> All right, time to start bringing some pavers in.
Good morning. I'm Tanner. Nice to meet you. Oh, it will when it's done. It's going to be so nice and cleaned up. Yep. Not a dirt mess. <laughs> a lot of work. Yep. A lot of work. Yeah, I'm missing one guy today, so I'm solo in it today, but we'll see what I can get done. You get done when you get done. Yeah. Yep. Looks great. I love it. Thank you. Going to have enough pavers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have more than enough. So I've laid up to the area that I stopped laying at the other day. So now I'm just transferring these pavers over, putting them in here, and then working my way to the end. But it's all coming along good. Nice, flat. It's got a slope going down towards the fence. But it is very flat, like I needed it to be. Street rails work magic, I'll tell you what. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this up. And I still have to street this bottom area down here. I'm just gonna street it out. Start over here, probably street that way and street that stuff that way. Or I'll just actually, I'll probably start down there and just keep going and start shoveling out whenever I get to a big pile. But that is gonna be no street rails. Just gonna be doing it with the level and the eyeball. It's hot out here, folks. There's no more cloud coverage. There's clouds there, but they're missing the sun. It's 96 degrees right now. Cooking, baby. I haven't worked solo in a in a while. And uh, as you guys know, land pavers solo is not ideal. Because it's nice to be land pavers while someone else is hauling pavers to you. Whereas right now, I gotta haul the pavers and then take them out of the wheelbarrow, put them down in stacks, and then lay the stacks. And then when I get done laying the stacks, I'm going to get more pavers with the wheelbarrow. There's never a break, you know. It's, uh, it's a little rough, but we're getting her done. Oh, finally. Some shade. Some good old shade.
The Unless bathroom. you want it to be square. I don't know. You just do what you do and then tell me what you want. That's all. But let me just say something. We're going to end up connecting that to this. I know we are. If we have a lot of leftovers. Okay. Because it would be stupid not to. Okay. Um, but not, you know, right away. But yeah. We'll store them out back and then. Yeah. Phase two, baby. Phase two. You think you're ready to go see my Oh, man. Take that big meal. I'll tell know. you what. I still took care of you. Yeah. You know? I got dogs. That was a good meal. Oh, it was decent. It, it wasn't super, super, but, you know. I like, I'm, shoot. For uh, lunchtime, I'm normally eating McDonald's, so it was yeah. pretty super, super lunch there. <laughs> Some baked ziti, <laughs> meatballs. But I tell you, willpower. It is. Yep, willpower. It is. What do you think? Four feet? I mean, which one? Eh, that's not four feet. That's not four. This feet. could be four feet. I mean, you just gotta cut it. You gotta cut it. Yeah, you're gonna have to cut one of them yeah. for sure. Six yeah, just make your mark. Yeah. Boom. I might trim the end first. Yeah, yeah, shaver flat straight. Flat, flat straight. That sounds good. That sounds already flat. Yeah. yeah, so maybe just cut it over here then, straight, yeah. and then that'd I'll be knock good. Off, I'll, I'll knock off all the smegma on it. Yeah, I mean, I could cut that off if you need me to, right on the side. What do you cut it off? What? Like, put the saw sideways and cut all that bullshit off. Mm hmm. That'd be the best way to do it. Better than a chisel and a hammer. I'm gonna tell you that. Got everything laid at Billy's house. Um, well, that pad. We still have two other pads to do. But my GoPro sadly died and I didn't have any more batteries to use. I left two of my batteries at the house. So I gotta make my outro while I'm here at home. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be going back and cutting it all in. That'll be in the next video. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.